So for number 43, um, we want to see whether the series is convergent or divergent by expressing it as a telescoping sum. So the way that it works is we're going to take um, this expression here, and first we're going to decompose it into partial fractions. So n squared minus 1. The first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to factor. So n squared minus 1, it factors um, into n minus 1 times n plus 1. So now we're going to decompose it into two um, partial fractions, a over n minus 1 um, plus b over n plus 1. And for us to find the coefficients a and b, what we have to do here is we have to try to join these fractions. So we have 2 over n minus 1 times n plus 1 is going to be equal to, now let's join this a and b. So if we join them, they have a common denominator that's n minus 1 times n plus 1. Um, but then we would multiply a by n plus 1 to join them. So a by n plus 1 plus b times n minus 1. And that is it. So we can see that the bottom part, since we're trying to find a and b and we're setting it equal, the bottom part's already the same. They have the same common denominator. So we can go ahead and we can ignore that and we can just focus on the numerator. Um, now this equation is going to be true for any values of n that I plug in. So I can choose strategic values. Let's begin with n is equal to minus 1. So if n is equal to minus 1, what we're going to have here is that 2 is going to be equal to a times minus 1 plus 1, which is 0, plus b times minus 1 minus 1, so minus 2. And what this means here is that 2 is going to be equal to minus 2b, and therefore b is equal to minus 1, so that's one of our coefficients. Now let's test the case where um, n is equal to positive 1. So if we test the case where n is equal to positive 1, we're going to have 2 is equal to a times 1 plus 1, so 2 plus b times 1 minus 1 is 0, so 2 is equal to 2 times a, and therefore a is equal to positive 1. So we have these two coefficients here, so now that we found them, we can just rewrite it as, um, so a was positive 1, so that's going to be 1, and b was negative 1, so minus 1. All right, so once we have decomposed our, um, our sequence, we can now rewrite this as the sum from n is equal to 2 to infinity, Instead of going 2 over n squared minus 1, we're going to write this as 1 over n minus 1 plus minus 1 over n plus 1, because these are equivalent through partial fractions. And if you want to check that, you can just add up these two fractions, and you're going to see that it leads us back there. Okay, so now once we have decomposed it, we can now expand it just to see how this is going to behave. So... Um, let's expand it up to, let's see, let's expand it up to n is equal to 6. So the first thing that we're going to plug in is n is equal to 2. So we're going to have 1 over 2 minus 1, which is 1, so 1 over 1, um, and then minus 1 over 2 plus 1, so minus 1 third. So this over here is where n is equal to 2. Now let's do n is equal to 3. So if n is equal to 3, we have 1 over 3 um, minus 2, so, sorry, 3 minus 1, which is 2, so plus 1 over 2, and then minus 1 over um, 3 plus 1, which is 4, so minus 1 over 4, and then if n is equal to 4, we're going to have plus 1 over 4 minus 1, so plus 1 over 4, um, sorry, 1 over, should be plus 1 over 3, rather, and then minus 1 over n plus 1. So if n is equal to 4, we're going to have minus 1 over 5. And then plus 1 over, that's going to be plus 1 over 4, minus 1 over 6. And then lastly, plus 1 over, um, we're doing 6 for n is equal to 6. So 1 over 6 minus 1, which is 1 over 5, minus 1 over 6 plus 1. So minus 1 over 7. So this here is the expansion for n is equal to 6, because at the very end, you can see that we have plus 1 over n minus 1, and then minus 1 over n plus 1. So let's see what happens here. Um, so if n is equal to 6, 
what we have is that this minus one third is going to cancel out with this plus one third. This plus one fourth is going to cancel out with the minus one fourth. This minus one fifth is going to cancel out with the plus one fifth. So what are we left with? Well, nothing's going to cancel out with this one over one. So we're going to be left with one. Nothing's going to cancel out with this plus one over two. So one plus one over two. And then we're going to be left with minus one over six. And remember that n is equal to six. So we're going to do minus one over n. And then we're going to be left with minus one over one over n plus one because um, seven is just n plus one. So when we do our telescoping sum, this is where, what we're going to be left with. One plus one half minus one over n minus one over n plus one. So um, just to show you guys that this is the case, let's just expand this out further into n is equal to seven just to see what happens. So if we add in n is equal to seven, we do plus one over seven minus one, which is plus one over six and then minus one over seven plus one, so minus one over eight. And if that's the case, look at what happens. This plus one sixth cancels out with that. And if n is equal to seven, we also have minus one over n, because minus one over seven, and then minus one over n plus one. So you can see here that it, it still works, right? Um, it would be true for n is equal to eight, nine, 10, and for infinity as well. Um, once you do this and you expand, you're gonna be left with one, plus one half, because nothing's gonna cancel those out, uh, plus, sorry, minus one over n, because nothing's gonna cancel out, and then minus one over n plus one. That's what you're gonna be left with. Everything else is gonna cancel. So once we have this, we can just say that, okay, this whole sum, oops. So this whole sum is gonna be equal to one plus one half, plus, um, rather minus, minus one over n, and then minus one over n plus one. So now what we're doing here is we're calculating the sum to infinity. So we're going to plug in, we're going to take the limit as n goes to infinity, right? Um, so let me just erase all of this stuff so we have some space to work with. Because we're not doing, say, up to n is equal to a million, because then we could just plug in a million for these values. But since we're taking now the limit as n approaches infinity, because it's an infinite sum of 1 plus 1 half, so 3 halves, uh, minus 1 over n, minus 1 over n plus 1. And if we do this, that's going to be, the limit of 3 halves is just 3 halves, um, minus 1 divided by infinity is just 0, minus 0, so minus 1 divided by infinity once more is just 0, so the total sum here is going to be 3 halves. And so we can see that this series here, uh, this telescoping series, does converge, and it converges to 3 halves.